While links work great for most cases, sometimes we need to navigate programmatically. Think about when you're shopping on Amazon. After you submit your order, you're automatically redirected to an order confirmation page. This kind of programmatic navigation is essential for form submissions and many other real-world scenarios. Let's dive into how we can achieve this using Next.js app router. For our example, we'll keep things simple. Even though we don't have a full e-commerce site, we will create a basic scenario where clicking a place order button in the order product page navigates us to the home page. Let's start by creating the order product route. In your app folder, create a new order product folder and add a page.tsx file with the basic React component. Export default function order product. We return an h1 tag order product. Let's add a button to make things interactive. Wrap the heading with React fragment and add a button place order. Now we'll add a click handler to the button using onClick. We will define the handle click function, which logs a simple message to the console. Placing your order. After our simulated order placement, you want to redirect the user to the home page. This is where the use router hook comes in. First, import it at the top of your file. Import use router from next slash navigation and inside your component, set up the router. Const router is equal to use router. Then use the push method to handle navigation. So after console log, router.push, and the path is the home page. In the browser, if you navigate to slash order product, you will get an error because use router only works in client components. Add use client directive at the top of your file to fix this. You will now see your heading and the place order button. Clicking the button will take you straight to the home page. That is programmatic navigation in action. Although we are using forward slash as our destination, you can use any valid route, whether it is nested, dynamic, or even a catch all route. Sometimes you might also want to replace the current page in the history stack instead of adding a new entry. For that, Use router.replace instead of router.push. It is similar to using the replace prop on a link component. You can also use router.back to go back to the previous page or router.forward to move forward in the history. Now there is one more way to handle programmatic navigation and that is the redirect function. Let's look at an example using our existing product review component. Remember how we check if the review ID is greater than 100 and show a not found page? Well, let's redirect them to the product list instead. At the top, import redirect from next slash navigation. And instead of calling not found, we will call redirect with the destination route slash products. Now, when you visit localhost 3000 slash products slash one slash reviews slash thousand one in fact, instead of seeing the not found page, you will be automatically redirected to the products list page. A very contrived example, but it shows how we can use redirects in our application. All right, now that we have covered linking and navigation in Next.js, let's dive deeper into some of the related concepts next. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.